Howdy friends, and welcome back to Toy Box Nostalgia, I'm Douglas. In this video we're going to be tearing open the absolute brand new 2023 DC Direct McFarlane Toys mashup of the Batman the Animated Series Bat Cycle. That's right, these are available on Target's app and Target's website. Every now and then they kind of pop in and out. If you just keep taking a look and cycling through the app and setting up notifications, you'll probably get your hands on one of these if you're a Batman the Animated Series fan like me. If you're new to Toy Box Nostalgia, you'd love to see more content like this, show up into your newsfeed. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, it truly helps out the channel. If at the end of this video you decide you like the content of this video, please consider hitting that thumbs up, that really helps me out a lot. And drop a comment below letting me know what you think of the Todd McFarlane re-release of the DC Direct Batman animated series action figure toy line. Are you as excited as me? Are you going to be collecting these? Are they hard for you to find as well? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. I'm going to catch you after this quick break. Here it is my friends, let's go ahead and tear this open. I'm really excited, I do have a Batman action figure here from the four pack that we just recently opened on the channel. Not sure how well it's gonna fare here on here because, well, it has a rubber cape and I'm not sure if these hands are going to fit, but we'll give it a try anywho. Let's take a look at the packaging first. This is incredible, right? Look at that beautiful artwork from the TV show. Oh, I love that, I love that font. The dark deco look to this is fantastic. Here we see we do have a smoke effect and it does light up. It comes with a card. It comes with a brand new head for Batman to, for him to wear his helmet when he's riding on his bat cycle. Taking a look at the top, it says DC Direct and McFarlane Toys. And we have that same Batman the Animated Series logo on the side, it just says bat cycle. The window does in fact wrap around to the left side of the box. It says Batman the Animated Series, and we have that just beautiful artwork. I love this. I love the style of this stuff. I think it looks fantastic. Over here on the right side of the box, we do have a small window in here. Can't really see too much in there. You can kind of see the Bat Cycle in there a little bit. It does say Bat Cycle. It says Batman the Animated Series, DC Direct, and McFarlane Toys. Flipping over to the back. This is where all the fun stuff is, right? Take a look at that. We have Batman the Animated Series, Bat Cycle, fits most six inch figures. Very cool. And then we have him here sitting on the Bat Cycle and it shows the smoke effect right there. And it's in all different languages right here. I purchased this from Target uh, using, just using the app. I just set up an alert and whenever they said they were in stock, I was able to order it and it came in a couple of days. Here we have the directions on how to set the Bat Cycle down onto the smoke effect. And this is how you put batteries into the device. Down here on the bottom, we have a caution here. It says batteries and small parts should be kept away from children. We do have the barcode over here in case you need it for some goofy reason. Let's go ahead and tear this open, my friends. Come on, there we go. Hopefully that's enough to get this open and out. Ah, look at that. Slide it all out from the bottom. Oh, look at that. Lots of pieces here. Comes with a really nice looking stand, it looks like. And we just have a plain blue background, super high gloss. This is awesome. This looks really cool. I love this. We do have plastic bands in here, which I'm going to have to cut out, unfortunately. It also looks like the card <laughs> is in the plastic. I don't know how I'm going to get that out without creasing the card or bending the edges. And then we just have the helmet here. So let's go ahead and cut this out. That I was able to get this out without creasing any of the edges too badly. Eh, it's unfortunate. It's weird that they decided to go that route, but that's okay. This part looks like it just needs one piece cut. Okay, so this is everything that came in the package. This piece looks like it's on upside down, so I'm just going to flip this over because I kind of like the side with the, um, the manhole cover there. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this here. This is the piece, the smoke effect right here. So I'm guessing the bat cycle just kind of sits right on top there, just like this. Yeah, very nice. All right, let's take a look at this. Let's look at some paint application and details here. Look at that. That's crazy how nice that is, right? 
So we have a speedometer here. We have an, what looks like an RPM gauge there. I'm pretty sure this stuff lights up, which is super cool. Look at that, the wheel can turn, so you could get some really cool poses of Batman driving the Bat Cycle. The wheel is inside there. It is, in fact, rubber. It feels like rubber. Very nice, look how cool that is. Like, the whole wheel is, like, encased inside of this plastic that just looks so cool, just like the show. In the show, we did have this blue, and it was supposed to be just, like, a different shade of light, or the way the, 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 uh, the shadows would hit the top of this. The back wheel is rubber, doesn't spin very well. As we see here, it just kind of stops. Maybe the brakes are applied. <laughs> Let's see if make sure the brake isn't applied. Yeah. All right, flipping over to the bottom, we do have this button which turns on the lights here, but it's not working right now because we have to slide this piece out from the batteries. And that makes the batteries have a connection, and we see that it does in fact light up. That's nice. That's really nice. It does have a tail light. Very, very cool. This thing is really shiny, like hard plastic. The whole thing is very shiny and just hard plastic. Taking a look at the bottom, that's where the batteries go inside, right there. Take a little screwdriver. Do not throw the batteries away. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's take a look at this card here. Actually, let me turn this off for now. And the, the non-sport trading card right here shows the Bat Cycle in its cartoon form. It does show the Batman the Animated Series logo right there. Very cool. Flipping over to the back here, it says Batman the Animated Series Bat Cycle data file. The Bat Cycle is Batman's sleekest mode of transport and perfect for allowing the hero to race at breakneck speeds through the streets of Gotham City. And then we have DC and Warner Brothers information down here. Very cool, very plain looking non-sport trading card. Looks really cool. Let's take a look at that head sculpt right there. Ah, very nice. So we have some blue up here and then the rest is all black. It is a, like a, I guess it's a little bit of a softer plastic, you know, typical head style. He does have a mouth though it's kind of hard to see. As you see right there, there's no black line on it. It's just like sculpted on and his eyes look really cool. This is so cool. I remember him wearing this helmet. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like on the action figure. Okay, so I got the head on the peg, but the bottom peg came out when I tried to remove it to put the cape back on. And the reason why I took the cape off was just to ensure that it was in fact making a, a connection there. Let's see if I can't get that snapped in now. So that's what he looks like with his helmet on. Essentially, it's just a different head sculpt that you just pop on and off. Uh, but I'd recommend warming this baby up before doing that. Let's go ahead and see what he looks like on the bat cycle itself. Look at that right there. So his feet are planted on these parts right here on either side. As we see there, and his hands do hold onto the handlebars really well, actually. Uh, he, can, he can't really look up too much. If I were to take toy photographs of this, I would try to probably just pop this off and use some sort of uh, sticky tack to like hold it facing completely forwards. To me, he kind of looks a little bit too big for the Bat Cycle, or I'm not sure. I, just, I feel like the action figure may be a tad too big, but at the same time, I can't get his ass to sit down onto the seat uh, with his feet planted on here. I mean, I could probably try again. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. The problem is um, you can plant his ass on the seat to get him to look, and he does look more natural on the bike this way, uh, but I can't seem to get the feet. The legs don't go up any higher on this version of Batman. Uh, to get the feet perfectly, uh, or I'm sorry, to rest onto this part here. Um, so unfortunately, he'll have to just kind of be like off of the seat. That's That kind of sucks. I was really hoping that, you know, he actually sat on there. Um, but, yeah. The problem is this. Like, the thigh doesn't go up any higher, you know, to make it actually... The, the feet actually land on these pegs. If we take a look at the toy photograph there, I didn't even notice this before. <laughs> his knee kind of just goes down to the peg and his leg just shoots straight back. And that same exact thing is on the front here too. It shows it the same exact way. If you look really closely right there, it kind of looks really odd to me. And then there's a picture of the actual like cartoon that we saw right here and his foot's on the actual peg and his ass is sitting on the seats. So maybe it was just the way it was designed. I'm not sure, but I mean, it's, cl it's close enough. 
All right, so let's find out what this baby looks like with the lights off in the room and the lights on on the bat cycle. So I'm gonna flip it over, turn the lights on. And we have a nice headlight there. We have the light here for the dashboard and we have the rear light to take a look at. Okay, take a look at that. So that's what it looks like at night with the lights off. We do have this really awesome headlamp right here and you can see the dashboards like lighting up a Batman. Oh, uh, it looks really good. I did put his leg in that weird position like that just to get him closer to the dashboard for the light effect. I think that looks fantastic. Flipping it around to the back, you can see the tail light looks absolutely awesome. And it's actually splashing off of the tire, as you see there. And this just looks awesome. This is going to look fantastic in front of my Gotham Police Station diorama set. There it is, my friends. Take a look at that. So crazy. It looks awesome. The lights, the way it lights up. Oh, it just looks awesome. I can't wait to see what this looks like on my Gotham City Police Station diorama that I built. If you haven't seen that video and you're a fan of Batman the Animated Series, please check it out. It is in the Diorama Creations playlist. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. Ah, oh, this is so cool. I kind of think that Batman's a little bit too tall for this. The action figure at least, but maybe I'm just using the wrong Batman. I don't know. Again, I just used the Batman from the Animated Series 4-pack. The re-release from Walmart and it just seemed like he was a tad too tall. Thank you so much for sticking to the end my friends. If you're new to Toybox Nostalgia and you'd love to see stuff like this show up into your newsfeed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you like the content of this video, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and drop a comment below letting me know what you think of Batman the Animated Series, DC Direct, McFarlane Toys re-releases. Thank you. This thing is really sleek and slick looking. I just love it. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. Remember, collect and shoot.